This guy, you can pencil him in for uh, all pro, not pro bowl. No, none of that nonsense. This is just Pro Bowl. Joe Thomas has done it, I think, now seven times in his career. Of my Cleveland Browns, the offensive tackle, and uh, Joe kind enough to join us after the Wheel of Punishment where the Danettes laughed at my uh, prediction that the Browns would win at least one game. Joe, we did it. We got that win. Congratulations. <laughs> we did it. Thank you so much for having me on. Where are you right now? I am actually in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Pretty this time of year, isn't it? Uh, you know what? We actually just got a little dusting of snow, so it's a beautiful winter wonderland out there right now. What does losing do to you? <laughs> well, uh, I think it motivates you to work harder to try to get that bad taste out of your mouth. But also, you get, I mean, you get a win, but after a while, it has to eat at you to a certain degree. You, you played at a, a Hall of Fame level. I mean, you've been an All-Pro seven times. It's rare when you get somebody, you know, that has that accomplishment who doesn't go into the Hall of Fame, but you're not winning. I mean, how do you not take that home with you after yet another loss? Well, I, I, it is tough. I think losing in the NFL is one of those things that – People on the outside that have never played or coached don't really understand how difficult and painful it really can be. And uh, it really does eat away at you. And I think it's one of those things that you have to learn to not take the losing home with you because uh, if you do, it can really ruin your family life. It can ruin your home life because um, it can be so painful mentally that uh, it really affects your life in, in a terrible way. What was that feeling like in the locker room after the win over San Diego? Well, it really was emotional, I think. Um, I don't know if people know it, but we actually lost every preseason game this year, too. So <laughs> even even that taste of winning in exhibition season was not there for us. So that that agony of walking into that locker room for – 18 straight weeks uh, of looking at your coaches and your teammates and, and seeing the, the pain on their face of another loss was really difficult to bear. And, and to finally have that payoff, that joyous victory, uh, I think a lot of people in that locker room were kind of overcome with emotion. Best team you face this year that's in the playoffs, still in the playoffs, is who? New England. You guys lost, uh, what, 33-13 to the Patriots? You know, I don't remember the score. I feel like the first beginning of that game was competitive, and then they kind of walked away with it in the second half. That was Brady's first game back from suspension, and you could tell he was playing with a little extra chip on his shoulder. Uh, you lost to the Cowboys, uh, lost to the Steelers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of losses this year. Yeah. A lot <laughs> oh, of, no. Okay, my, my bad. Joe, my bad. You played the Cowboys. <laughs> <Thanks for rubbing laughs> you, you played the Steelers. You played the That's Patriots. It. How how has the game changed since you uh, – hell, I think I talked to you on draft day. You were hunting. You didn't even go to the draft. Is that right? Yeah, I was busy. I was busy. <laughs> I had something on the schedule, a prior engagement. <laughs> so so how, is, how has the game changed since then? Yeah. Well, it, it's changed in a lot of facets. I think from my standpoint, I think the defenses that we see week in and week out have changed a lot. I think the blitz schemes are much more complex. I think you see many teams playing hybrid 4-3, four, 3-4 three, three, four defenses that uh, maybe aren't as gap sound as they were early on in my career. But I think defenses are taking more chances. Um, whereas when I first got in the league, I think more defenses want to be fundamentally sound and they, they kind of, picked and, and chose their chances and their situations to maybe make a blitz uh, to try to make a big play, whereas now I think defenses realize how good offenses are, and in order to stop them, they have to make a big play on every every drive in order to keep a team out of the end zone. So they do take some more of those risks and those chances, and they are much more complex. You weigh, what, 310? Is that right? Yes. Um, yep. Can you let yourself go in the offseason? You know, I've never been a guy that blows up and, and gains a lot of weight. Um, I've always kind of been a skinnier guy that has to kind of put weight on as the season comes up to play at that 310, 315 range. So um, I never, I've never, i been lucky. I've never had to really worry about getting too big in the offseason. 
Uh, the wheel of punishment. I, of course, bought into the Cleveland Browns. Thought you guys were going to win two games, but the haters on the other side of the glass, <clears throat> the Danettes, they laughed at me. <laughs> um, your thoughts on the wheel of punishment that uh, the Danettes faced? Well, I, I do appreciate you picking us to win two games. And I say us because you are considered a Cleveland Brown since you were picking on our side. Yes. Um, but I'm a little bit disappointed in Seton and Polly. I do watch the show and it sounds like there was a bet that has been unpaid for yet. And it looks like they still have a full beard Ooh. and I think they're supposed to shave half their face. And if they're unwilling to shave half their face, I'm unfortunately going to have to come to the studio and we'll have to do a good old fashioned one-on-one <laughs> live hamburger drill, me versus Keith and then me versus Polly, uh, since they don't want to pay up their debts. Uh, Polly, Somebody get me a razor quick. <laughs> I would rather shave my face than face that monster. I'm shaving. <laughs> I gave them the opportunity, though, Joe. I was looking for content. I thought I could get two pieces of content instead of just one where they had to shave just uh, one side of their face. So uh, if you want to blame anybody, blame me, because I, I, I wanted to make sure that I was getting a little more out of them. They you know, let the punishment spread out a little bit. We'll give them a pass then this time. Could you kill them if you wanted to? Uh, how much time do I have? How much time is it going to take? <laughs> if I gave you <laughs> I, 10 I minutes. More than 15 seconds, I think that's all I need. So more than 15 seconds to kill Seton and uh, Pauly. Uh, together, I, I'd need 30 seconds. Oh, 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you never know if one starts running away. You know, that it might take a few seconds to catch, catch the other one after I've killed the first one. Uh, have you done octagon stuff? Have you, are you interested in any of that? Um, mildly earlier in my career, I actually did some MMA martial arts type training, um, in the off season to kind of work on my hands. Uh, and I enjoyed that type of stuff, but I think if I got in the ring now, one kick to my knees and I'd <laughs> fall down and start crying for my mommy. What do you have a uh, 10 time pro bowl tackle and how many, uh, is that right? Yeah. 10, pro, 10 pro bowls. That's correct. And how many all pros? Uh, I think eight. You think eight. Pretty sure, eight, yeah. Well, you, I, if I had to guess, I, I don't keep uh, tabs of that on a daily basis. <laughs> but that's uh, but I I got I got eight eight straight All Pro selections. That's Hall of Fame stuff, Joe. Someday I, I do hope to be in the Hall of Fame. That was a goal of mine when I first got in the NFL. Have you? Uh, uh, well, who gets in first, you or JJ Watt? <laughs> Well, I'm guessing he'll probably have a longer career than I will. So <laughs> he's a little younger than I am. So I imagine I'll probably retire and be eligible before he will. He doesn't get enough camera time, Joe. I'm worried about JJ. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I know we're all feeling bad for him. Yeah. Yeah, he's hardly had any uh, exposure this year <laughs> being injured at all. <laughs> hey, hey uh, good luck in the uh, off season there, and I'll I'll be rooting for the Browns next year because uh, I think we double our win total at least, and I will count the preseason games. Now, I never paid attention to the preseason games, but I will with the Cleveland Browns starting next year, <laughs> Joe. Uh, you're so kind. Thank, Thank you, you Joe. That's uh, Joe Thomas, <laughs> uh, Browns offensive tackle. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs>